Hello everybody and welcome to Sussex Farm episode 4 with me, Jordison. You can see that it's 20 to 6 in the morning we're starting this episode in a different place. We're not at the farmyard. We're down at, I believe it's McLean. Is it McLean? Let's just have a look. I think it's McLean Bio, the McLean Biogas Plant down by the port and the marina. Yes, we are. McLean bought our gas plant, we're just here. And there's a reason for that. I had a phone call yesterday from the Department of Transport asking me to come down early this morning for a meeting with them. And I came down and I was approached by Jeremy, a very, very nice but bureaucratic man. And he has informed me that the cell point, not, yeah, the cell points and everything like that around the map do have weight limits. And if the Department of Transport, like today, are here, you can tell they're here because their black van and their two black 4x4 pickups are here. Um, if they're here and they find out that we are over the weight limit, we do get a fine and it differs depending on how much over the weight limit we are. So we are going to have to adhere to that. But it's not extravagant the weight limits I've got them here the weight limits are 0 to 100 horsepower vehicles can have up to six bales or the equivalent of that in whatever else on the back so that's 4,000 litres times six so that's 20,000 litres um, is all you're allowed on anything up to 100 horsepower from 101 to 150 horsepower it's eight bales or equivalent 151 to 200 horsepower, 10 bales are equivalent, and 201 horsepower plus, you can have a maximum of 25 bales or equivalent, which is a lot. So that's what I mean. You've got a big jump there from the 200 horsepower limit to the 201 plus limit, um, but they're not being extravagant with it, which is really, really good. So in the last episode, I mentioned that at the beginning of this episode, we were going to be selling some bales here. And we are, and this is the sell point for the bales. However, we have the problem that nothing opens until 8 o'clock. So, we don't want to get in the DOT van, that would not be a good idea. But what we do want to do, see look, the Department of Transport, they've really made this a one-way system, they've even blocked off that look. That's crops up recently. <laughs> I wonder, wonder how that got there. I wonder how that got there. But yes, so I mentioned that we were going to sell some bales down here and try and make some digestate. And we were graciously given some... Oh, they really have made it a one-way system, look. I was graci graciously given some hay bales by Mr. Sealy P from the Sealy Estate. So we're going to sell some of those. And I believe I've got some grass fields that will be ready to harvest in a different episode. So that's great. But first, before we sell the bales... Sorry, I've got really bad stomach this evening. When I'm recording this, anyway. Um, where was I? Yes, before we sell the bales, we need to buy a bale trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whiz over to the shop and I will see you when I get there so here we are back at the shop I do apologise about the honking along to the music there. I do like that. That's one of the songs on this game I do like. So, bale trailers. There are many to choose from. But, there is one that I want. It was brought to my attention on another YouTube channel. And I love it. 
and it's not one of the standards ones it is indeed a mod and it's not the auto loads it is in fact the Malone round bale trailer and this is a mod by Peter J so thank you very much Peter J for this mod and I think it's great and um, we're going to use standard tyres and we're going to have road lights on it because we are going to be heading down to the Ministry, uh, the Department of Transport even today or we'll past them when we go down to McLean so we are going to need it to be road legal Oh, so this is a great mod I mean you can see it from inside the trailer if I just zoom in there from inside the tractor if I look around there we go Oh, I mean it's made perfectly for bales, the spacings, just everything about it is made for bales. <laughs> it's great in that respect. So now we're going to be heading back to the old farm, back up to the farmyard and we're going to load the bales also on the way back to the McLean biogas plant we're going to be filling up this baby with fuel this tractor here unless we go past a petrol station on the way back to the farm in which case we will fill up then during this episode as well towards the end of the episode this is going to need a clean because it's absolutely disgraceful I mean if I you can see on the back the rear rear mud guards it's dreadful absolutely diabolically filthy so we're going to get that cleaned we will either use the jet wash up at our farm or the washing station down at the Sealy Estate depending on where we are on the map at the time so we haven't come across a petrol station so we will indeed fill up on the way down to McLean or on the way back from McLean whichever it may be and the temperature by the way today we've got 9 degrees air temperature and an 8 degree soil temperature so we will be doing some more seeding um, I am looking at doing some potatoes at some point um, to possibly get pigs but I was thinking about them next year so I'm thinking maybe getting the ingredients sorted for power food um, I don't know what I'm doing, ignore me we need to go over here and what I've also done with the sheep is I removed all of them, put them back in and if I show you the animal screen quickly the health has gone up to 80% so we can hope and pray that that's good news now I've dropped that off in quite an awkward place really but there's just enough room to go and grab the arms and the round bale forks holder and I always forget that this tractor doesn't actually have the right attachment or it does and it's just not right do you know what we're going to do in this case because we need we're going to be using this tractor quite a lot so we may as well whilst we've got the funding stick it on the ramps Oh, I know that. Oh, it has to be up in the air to be, for us to be able to do anything, I'm assuming. Weird. But okay. Yeah, it does. So we'll repair it for £32, yeah, and we'll also customise it. Yeah, there's no front loader attachment on there at the moment, but for £800, we can definitely get that. And if I wanted to up it by 20 horsepower, it cost me 10000 just to go up by 20 horsepower. That is ridiculous. We are going to put it back to standard tyres though. Uh, it's not going to cost us anything, so that's great. I just think it will look better with standards. So let's bring it back down. There we go, standard tyres. 
and we've now got our front loader attachment as well. Yeah, they're closing. all the way up to the top there there we go let's bring it down and let's go load up some bales now this is the Voltra N series which chocks in at 145 horsepower which means we can have eight bales or equivalent on it so we're gonna put eight bales on our bale trailer here if it takes eight bales one two three four five six it's a six bale trailer it's a six bale trailer but we're gonna see if we can get a few more than that on it now I haven't really left myself all that much room if I'm honest which I think I'm going to regret fairly soon on and I'm not that keen on the controls of this bale fork if I'm honest but that's neither here nor there, got, a, got no choice to use it at the end of the day it's what we've, it's what we've got, it's what old Gramps had We might about just get that on. Reverse a little bit. Oh no. That's not the best, but it's not also not the worst. But what we are going to do, because that is highly in the way, and that is going to be highly dangerous and bad for our health, and bad for the bale's health, I believe as well. In all honesty, so we're going to pull that out here, and I'm just going to see if this has got straps. I don't know if it has, but yes, it has. That is brilliant. So we'll detach that there and we'll go and grab the next bale.
This bale is being a nuisance, as you can see. What we'll do is we'll stack this one on, and then I shall fast forward time to when they're all on. I may have knocked the other one off, but at least it's in the right size. So what we'll do is I'll get this all loaded up, and I'll get eight, eight bales loaded on here. And then I will come back to you, and we can go down to McLean and sell them. So, to tough now, Hello, guys. and we are back, and that took us some time, I'm going to admit. I had to change, as you can see, I've left the round bale handle, if you'd like, over there. And I had to swap in the end to fork, to the bale fork, because it just wasn't doing me any favours, not at all. So we're going to angle them up. And now, as you can see, I'm going to have to be careful not do any more dodgy turns like that. But, 145 horsepower tra tra tractor with 8 bales on the back. Let's go and get these sold down at McLean Bioglass gas. And just remember we do have to get diesel in the tractor as well. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to drive down to McLean. I'm going to unload these so that they're in a nice line and then actually actually no we'll, we'll actually drive down to McLean. Why not? It's somewhere we haven't driven to yet in the day and actually there's a Texaco garage there. So, no one tends to come up and down here. So we're going to leave the trailer there on Sussex Lane. And we're going to grab some diesel while we're here. What's the price? Diesel, we're looking at 109. So that's not. Oh, I'm trying to drive through a car. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, 109. So we'll get some diesel whilst we're here. How much is this going to cost us? So I'm assuming it's going to take us back up to 300 litres. Oh, 314 litres. And that costs us... Uh, just, just under 150 quid. 150 pound, that's not too bad at all. Right, so let's hook up again. Apologies if there are any cars behind me. And down to McLean we go. So over the next, over this episode and next episode, I'm going to be well, over, probably on starting on next episode. I want to look at before next episode. I'm going to do some research into total mix ration and power food and all of that kind of stuff and see exactly what it is I need to put into it and then we'll probably start looking at getting some cows perhaps we definitely need to get the rest of our fields planted which we're going to do in some of this episode I've already cultivated off screen field 9 and 10 which we brought so that is done so they're ready just to be planted straight away I haven't got to fiddle around we haven't got to fiddle around watching cultivating there isn't really any cultivation mods that I find interesting, if I'm honest. I know that probably sounds harsh to all the modders out there, because all the mods are brilliant in their own way. But I haven't found one really. I mean, it's cultivating. It's just turning the soil over. That's all it is. I'm not going to find something that really blows my mind there, am I? Another petrol station here. I could have got it from if I needed to. Um, in regards to financing, finances, one thing I do want to say is we haven't got a bank loan. 
Um, if I have a look in the finances menu, no loan whatsoever, see? So we haven't got anything to pay back, but it also means that if we do need a loan, we can get one without any hassles from the bank. They'll just say yes, which is always going to be handy. Now, I can guarantee, because this is stacked a bit weirdly, we'll get stopped by the Department of Transport. But we can hope they just let us through, because he said 100, up to 150 horsepowers, 8 bales. This has 8 bales and it's 145 horsepower. So, let's make sure we're confirmed to the speed limits around here. Especially with DOT being here. What is it, 10 mile an hour I'm assuming? Yeah. Let's just stop here and wait for Jeremy to weigh us. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's all fine. He is clearing us to go. So what we're going to do now... This is now open. Because it's gone out. I could close it if I wanted to, but there's no need to. We'll leave it open. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to unload all of these bales and I will see you once they're all unloaded. See you very shortly. So, that's all the bales unloaded. Let's just mosey on over to here. Get this lid back opened. And we are going to, I am going to cheat a little bit here. Some people may like this. Some people may not like this, but I want to try and get a group price for as many of these as I can, so... No, we're getting 533 a bale, roughly. Oh, it will go in eventually, hold on. There's three left, come on. There we go, that one's in. Two more left. Oh. There's always one or two that have to be awkward. Absolutely always. There we go, 533. And so that's 533 times by 8, which will come up on the screen now because my mind's blank. So yeah, that's how much that is in total. It's probably going to be about the £4,000 mark, roughly. So we'll shut that back down. And we want next, whiz over this little one way, whiz round this little one way section to the digest 8 tank digest 8 tank should I say which is just here and if I just flip the help window on we can see that we have 1% digest J fill level 9600 so we've got a little bit and if we have a look in here, you can see there, there's the digest date. That disgusting old stuff in the bottom of the barrel there. So we can see that we've got some digest date coming along, which is going to be good. Because we are going to want to be um, using some of that to fertilise the fields. Au natural and things like that. We've also got two grass fields, which we're going to be baling up the grass from very soon and selling a lot of those bales what I'll do with that is I may I don't know how I'll do that yet we'll come across that I may get the auto laid auto load bale trailer for that one this is a brilliant little bale trailer by Peter J but for the amount of 
um, bales that are going to be coming off of those two fields in total I just don't think it would be good enough so whilst I've gone the wrong way and I turn around <laughs> I will see you back up at the main farmyard where we're going to collect some seeding equipment so see you all very soon So here we are back at the farmyard and we'll go and collect some eggs tomorrow or not well not tomorrow but in the next episode and we're gonna put this in with the animal trailer because that again it just makes more sense because that's where we're storing a lot of the bales so Open her up. And let's try <laughs> the near impossible task now of me reversing this into here. There we go. Not a not a too bad job there either really could be better but could also be a lot worse so we can drop the bale forks off now we'll pick them ones up as well I suppose they need to be picked up we can drop these off now because we don't need them and we'll just quickly pick these ones up and re return them There we go. Put the arms back. There we go. So we're going to go and pick up first the coon the coon sewing machine first and there is of course a reason for that this one is going to be I'm going to be hiring a worker in this one oh which is the, this is the one we tend to hire a worker in and this one is going to work down on field 6 here planting us some much needed barley And we need as much wheat and barley as we can get so that Mr. Sealy P doesn't fire us. Because it's going to get to summer soon. We're already in late spring. So we're going to be in summer soon. And he's going to be getting frustrated that his brewery is not open. So we need to get some, some of that sorted. We need to get his brewery open for business for him. So we can set the worker off there. Let's just make sure he starts doing his job properly. And he's doing a great job of planting wheat. Which is not what I wanted, but... So we're going to have a row of wheat. And then we're going to have to... Uh, which one's barley? Actually, he was ploughing barley. Carry on, Mr... Um, Mr. Worker, you were doing better than me there. So we're going to leave him to get on. He's not blocked by an object at all. We're going to leave him to get on with his job. Look, he even bipped his horn at me, bless him. And we are going to go and start the sewing on field 9. That's what we're going to do today. 
We're going to start on field 9. We're of course going to use the Vulture T-Series. Now, whilst we're here... No, wrong, wrong menu. We're going to have a quick look at what we can plant exactly. So wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beet, oilseed, radish, grass, poplars, of course. And of course, it's too cold for sugar cane. So, I think what we're going to do is a field of oilseed radish and a field of wheat because oilseed radish is harvestable right up until the end of autumn so that one field can just we can just replant oilseed radish and then we can do barley harvest it at the end of summer and replant it in autumn oh, same with the wheat even which is what we're going to do in field 10 field 9 will be oilseed radish so we already know that this is full so we don't need to refill it but we're going to just Top it up anyway. Nevertheless, there we go. Topped it up. Doesn't hold fertilizer, of course. So. Starting with field 9. Which is going to be... Oilseed radish. So yeah, this field we're going to have it as oilseed radish. The next field over, field 10, that will be wheat, ready for the bakery for dear old Mr. CDP. We've got barley growing. We've got barley being planted as well. We've got some wheat being grown. So yeah, the next episode is going to be fertilising. This fertilising is going to need to be done next. So definitely, this is coming along quite nicely. I genuinely thought I was going to struggle with the Seasons mod, having not really used it before. And It's not that I haven't used it, it's that I've never really got to grips with it before. But I am starting to get the hang of it now, more and more and more. And it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. It's been quite successful. Now, I do want to say, any contracts that you guys want to submit to, for me to do, I will try and accommodate them. If I get inundated with ideas, I can't accommodate. That's a given, but I will try and accommodate as many contracting ideas that I can. The way I see it as well, the more contracts in a way, the merrier to a certain point, because it means the farm's going to get more money in. 
which is going to be great from the council's point of view because of the productivity that we talked about in their last episode is what they're look going to be looking at in order to grant me the agriculture grant. But what I do love, even on this field, about this map, and Alien Jim's done a great job, is you can see the curvature. If I go there, you can just see the curvature. And with this ground response mod on as well, the tractor and the trailer and the sewing machine, just, you can see it go through the terrain just that little bit more, can't you? You can see the tractor moving up and down. And it's just absolutely fantastic. The dirt mod does add quite a bit of dirt to the tyres and the vehicles. I mean, that Voltra T-series, N-series even, we're going to have to clean that once the helper is finished on that field. That's definitely got to be cleaned. Because it's just ridiculously filthy. And you will notice that not only my time lapses, but also when I'm driving around in the track so it's always this country music. I absolutely love country, and I think a couple of the songs in this game are great, which are the ones I use on the time lapses. Um, and I just, yeah, I absolutely think they're great, so I really do hope that those couple of songs are going to be incorporated into the next game when that gets released in autumn this year because I'd really do like them. So yeah, we're going to get on with this field now and I will come back to you when we're finished.
So that's that field nicely sewn. There's a little strip down here, but I'm not too fussed about that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a worker to complete this field. Obviously we want a different seed in this field. We do actually want wheat even. That one there. And the reason being there is a very good reason. I have realised that I don't have a fertiliser of any description. And we're going to need one of these. Oh, and he's blocked. No, they're not. And we're going to need a fertiliser. It's one of the few things that we genuinely require. Now, I want to check on this dude. And he is working away. Yeah, he's working away still. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the van and we're going to take a trip to the shop and I will see you when we get there and here we are at the shop guys and the fertilizer sprayer that I've bought is a mod and I can't remember who the mods buy so I'll have a think about that quickly um, and it's the Lizard double one double four zero twenty four meter fertilizer. It's it. It's not a attachment like one of these. It is drivable like one of these. It's a lot cheaper, nineteen thousand four hundred and fifty. Whereas on these we're talking one hundred ninety five thousand, two hundred thirty seven thousand. And it's. I think it's 18 slots like these but I've still got 295 left and that will go up and down throughout so I've not got to worry about that too much so here it is all 19,450 pounds worth of it and I think it's brilliant I really like it the name of the modder because I can't remember what it is will come up now So that's who the modder is of the lizard. And what we're going to do is take this up to field 11, I believe it is. Great demand at sawmill for wood chips, okay. We're going to take this up to field 11, get field 11 fertilised, because we need to start getting some fields fertilised. So we can get that started in this episode. Why not? So, I will get this thing which tops out at 17 miles per hour <laughs> back to the field 11 and we'll pick up when we get there. to ta for now. So here we are guys. Field 11. And the first thing we need to do is unfold this and see how wide 14 meters is. I know it's fairly wide but obviously I want to get the right measurement on the field and that is actually quite wide. That is a lot wider than I initially thought. What I have seemingly forgot to do is grab fertilizer. So we'll go and do that now and then we'll come back and start sowing this field. They even got it blocked off there, I didn't notice that. The council have really blocked that off, they don't want anyone getting into there. I mean you could easily hop those little roadblocks but I'm not going to they obviously don't want us in there for good reason as well I mean they've got an excavator in there it can't exactly be safe in there can it <laughs> I was in the right one before there we go that's filling up nicely and I'll see you back at field 11 
So, back at field 11 again. This time we are full of fertilizer. So, let's go. Let's start harvesting this, not harvesting, <laughs> fertilizing um, this field. And you can definitely see the ground response mod, it just works great on here. It really does. Absolutely phenomenal. Even, especially with this, because we it's all over the place, isn't it? So that's absolutely great, but I do really like this mod. So definitely go out there and get it. If this is your thing. I mean, this might not be your thing. So, if it's not, then fair enough. It's not going to be everybody's thing. So it's going to do this field in about, what, two minutes? <laughs> Less than? But that's the great thing. I'm not going to have to spend hours and hours and hours fertilising every single field. And I know I am going to um, digest, put digestate on a few of the fields. But that's not going to be for another couple of episodes because we haven't got a, t a tank that can um, take it yet. So it's not going to be just yet, that's for sure corn as well, shame we haven't got any corn, we might have some corn in storage actually, so we can have a quick, a quick look at that, oh, I didn't realise that it lowered, didn't realise that at all, lowers and highers, that's really quite cool, but we can leave it high, we don't need it low. Although we can have it low actually, I suppose we use a little bit less. But that is <laughs> field 11 fertilised. Really quickly, probably an unconventional method, I know. But it works, it's quick, and it got the job done. So I'm definitely not going to complain at that. So. Moving on. We're going to have a look at what we've got in storage in a, in a second. Hope we don't get caught up here. Oh, I thought we might do it on the silly tree. Very, very silly tree indeed. So let's have a quick look to see what we've got in storage. Um, they, what did they just say? Corn. So corn is the one next to potatoes and we've got 2146 litres in and what's it selling for? 768 pound per thousand litres so yeah it's quite high but not quite sure it's worth selling it the sawdust again we've only got 146 litres of sawdust so there's no point taking that over so there's just, yeah, there's no point whatsoever, there's, we just haven't got enough of it in storage. I mean, I could do, because it would get rid of it, but it's... There's not much point. I mean, yeah, the corn, that can come in handy if I haven't had any more corn in by the time we come to start pigs. Or something along those lines. So, I'm not going to go ahead and sell that. Definitely not. And it looks like the other two fields have been completed and the helpers seem to have returned the equipment for me which is very kind of them. The cedars are in a different place to where they started but I suppose it just made more sense and they are quite neat there. It makes sense to have them both in the same place so we're going to put this here. So we're going to finish this episode up by turning the harvester off, no, the fertiliser off. Turn that off so as not to waste excessive fuel. We are going to take this over to the washing stand. I'm going to give this a bit of a wash because it's absolutely filthy, so it definitely needs it. I'm sure there's a jet wash here. There is indeed. Let's see how good it is at getting the dirt off. Question. 
So when you actually aim it right at the vehicle, it's actually really good at getting the dirt off. I'm impressed at that. That's really quite, quite something. Let's make sure the tyres are done. And that, where is it? It's the jumbo jet. <laughs> Hello, jumbo jet. I love that thing. It's amazing. We are going to have to make sure, though, that when the weather gets worse... I mean, I haven't been over to the airport yet, so I don't know if anyone's working in the air control tower, but if not, we're going to have to make sure that all the air traffic gets diverted in bad weather. Because I don't want any... aircraft crashing in... Right, that'll do. Any aircraft crashing into my fields or my tractors. Or me, if I'm out driving out and about, for that matter. So we can pack this back up, and the final thing we've got to do is just collect the chicken eggs for today. And then that will wrap this episode up. So as always, I have hoped you've enjoyed this video, and if there's anything you want to say, then please feel free to drop us a comment down below. And like I said earlier, any contracting work ideas that you guys have feel free to share them the, at the moment the more the merrier definitely 100 percent so let's just double check make sure that's all the eggs it is indeed so until next time my friends take it easy